welcome back to Nikki Care's vlog to my old subscribers. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for all your you've been doing. Thank you for your nice comments, likes, and for my intended sub subscribers, please subscribe and also press the notification button for us to notify you on our new videos. Today, friends, we are going to look into the word of God because after everything here, yeah, after all that we are doing here, we are going to be accountable for all that we do. So I want to bring us to a notice that if, if, if you are not if you are not born again, please think twice. On today's topic, the uh, topic says, "Where would you spend eternity? Is it in heaven or?" In Remember that hell is real and heaven is real. The Bible made us to know that one day our power will fail us. Medical help, medical uh, experts will not be of assistance to us, just as we are seeing today. COVID is ravaging the world and nothing is done. People are dying in thousands. Then, one day as well, that your blood that you feel that you can fire blood for medical checkup. Will not as well help you. Your children will not help you. Your friends will not help you. Nobody will be your assistant. This bread that you see will be failing, and death will be inevitable one day. So the Bible says that if we have not given our life to Christ, that we should do what? Try and give our life to Christ. So the Bible say, says in John 3:16 that for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in Him shall not perish but shall have everlasting life so is left the body is on our court to what repent of our sins and run to christ so that we'll be saved because after everything bible said that it is appointed unto man once to die and after which judgment will follow and what, what judgment are we giving is we are accounting for how we live our we live our lives on lives here on in the world so we are going to account for every word, every thought, every action. So it's good for us to run, run to Christ, confess all of our sins, and ask Him to accept us as a provident soul, as one of His. So, my brothers and sisters, the Bible says that it's only Christ that can save us. Our world will fail us. Our family and friends will fail us. Our wealth, our political powers and all what not will fail us. But Jesus is the only one that can save us. And Christ is at the door of our hearts, knocking, waiting for us to open. Why not open for him today? Accept him as your Lord and personal Savior so that things will turn around for you. So if you're ready to give your life to Christ, please can you say this prayer with me? Lord Jesus Christ, I confess that I'm a sinner. In need of help. I'm sorry for all my sins. I need you to be my Lord and my personal Savior. I will forsake all my sins and seek to do your will. I pray this in Jesus' name. If you have said this prayer with me, brothers and sisters, you are now a true born again. Forsake your evil ways and and the word, pick up your Bible, follow Christ diligently. The Bible said that those that worship Him, we worship Him, in, we worship Him in truth and in spirit. So, look, read your Bible daily. Look for a Bible-believing church, or even I'm not telling you to change your church. Get, pick up your Bible, get devotional, dwell in it. Ask the Holy Spirit to come and direct you and teach you. He says that when His Holy comes upon you. That will teach you all things. So therefore, devil into the word of God. It's only in the word of God that you get instructions. Try and fellowship as well with your brethren. So that you will not derail or you will not backslide. I pray that is well with you. Thank you for listening. And as you're putting all these words into action, may God bless you abundantly. And make things uh, fall in the right places for you. It's well with your soul. Be blessed in Jesus' name. If you like this uh, channel, please subscribe, comment, like, and also share. Thank you. Bye.